you're actually going to be doing a wreath and it's a DIY it's from some sticks from the park and um, it's it kind of turns out pretty good but then it kind of kind of turns out a little rocky so I'll try to put some of my bloopers in there so you can kind of see where I kind of screwed up in some spots but I am really obsessed with um, DIY reefs lately because they are a little expensive but you want to have that unique look so anyways hopefully you like this video and um, hopefully it's uh, more of a thumbs up <laughs> so if you have any questions or any kind of concerns or any other ideas please email me or message me or comment me and um, we'll go from there. All right, so thank you again for watching. Have a great day and let's get started. So we're here, we're gonna get started. We're gonna make an at-home DIY wreath with cotton balls and sticks that I found from out in at the park. You can do them at the park, your backyard, whichever place if you have trees. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some gloves, you're gonna need some hot glue, lots of hot glue and gun. And then of course you're gonna need the cotton balls. And then we're gonna get started. Okay, now we're back. So as you can see, I started angling the the tree limb pieces that I found um, at the park and they were broken. And right now I'm actually gonna take a hot glue gun and I'm just gonna start gluing them together. Make sure you, um, put a lot of hot glue on there because you want this to really stick. And if you washed your tree branches, uh, you're gonna make sure that you wanna make sure they're dry. So there we go. I'm gonna start just kind of getting crafty here. I'm gonna kind of put some here and some here. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing this and then I will check back in. I'll show you where I'm at as far as gluing. And then hopefully we'll have something really cool here. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So far we're still shaping it and it takes a little bit of time. You want to be uh, really diligent and trying to make it round. As you can see, mine's a little bit square. So we're gonna try to make it round it out a little bit more and then I will see you back here soon. After I get it a little bit more rounder and then I'll show you how I put the cotton balls on there and make it look like um, something real fun and antique, a cotton ball wreath. All right, well, so stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, so as you see, that wreath looks really horrible and um, didn't go very well so I had to start all over so <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like now and um, sorry that one just wasn't good so when I picked it up and sticks start falling off of it etc etc long story short I had to start all over so here we go okay so we have a horizontal shape here with the sticks we just took the sticks as you can see right here and right there, we just kind of connected them. So actually it was about what, two, four, six, six sticks. So we kind of try to get the even ones, whatever didn't fit, just take some clippers like this, snip them, and then hot glue them. And now we're just gonna basically just keep building our reef up with the sticks, with the other sticks. And I'll show you a little bit more um, as we get in the process. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, we kind of build it up like more like a 3D. And this is kind of more of the top area. And right here on, sorry, had a camera malfunction. Actually right here, uh, I'm gonna build it up because that's where I'm gonna put my uh, my little cotton trees I'm gonna make on the side. And then, um, so yeah. So anyways, um, lots of hot glue, lots of sticks. And of course you wanna use scissors. I actually got some pine cones that I'm gonna use on my cotton and I'll show you how I uh, scissors, you know, make those real quick before I put them on. All right, so I'll be back and I'll show you how to do that along with uh, where I'm at with us. So, all right, give me just a moment. Back. All right, so for this next part, to make the cotton ball um, little things to go on the on the branches, like those over there, you're gonna actually take a cotton ball and pull it apart into two and let's get a different cotton ball 
one of the big ones like this and just pull it apart so you always want to pull these apart and as you can see I already have some of these already taken off of my pine cone I just used scissors and clipped them off and I got these so what I'm gonna do with that cotton ball that I split in half I'm gonna put it on the back on the on one of the parts of the cotton like this sorry it's kind of hard to explain because I got glue all over my hand already I'm gonna put it on like this on the back and then I'm gonna add another one I'm gonna put some more glue on there first you can see it does get a little messy but once you um get so used to putting them on there then you'll get the routine and then I'm gonna put a little bit more I only put three on the back but you're more than you know more than welcome to do whichever design you like or maybe send me some messages and show me some tips what y'all done out there and like that voila so when I flip it over it looks like a cute little star a little cross in the back and then I just kind of put it up there like that all right so let me show you what it looks like when I'm pretty much done and I'll be back thank you